I hope you'll go along with this rather unusual setting and the fact that I remain seated when I get introduced and the fact that I'm going to come to you mostly through this medium here for the rest of the show. And I should tell you that I'm backed up by quite a staff of people between here and Menlo Park, where Stanford Research is located, some 30 miles south of here. And uh, if every one of us does our job well, it'll all go very interesting, I think. <laughs> the research program that I'm going to describe to you is quickly characterizable by saying, if in your office, you as an intellectual worker were supplied with a computer display backed up by a computer that was alive for you all day and was instantly responsible, responsive, <laughs> instantly responsive to every action you had, how much value could you derive from that? Well, this basically characterizes what we've been pursuing for many years in what we call the Augmented Human Intellect Research Center at Stanford Research Institute. Now, the whole session is going to be devoted to trying to describe and present to you the nature of this program. But unfortunately, uh, or fortunately, the products of this program, the technology of it, lends itself well to an interesting way to portray it for you. So we're going to try our best to show you rather than tell you about this program. A very essential part of what we have developed technologically is what does come through this display to us. And I'm going to start out without telling you very much about the program and just run through a little bit of the action that this provides us. So in my office, I have a console like this, and there are 12 others that are computer supplies, and we try nowadays to do our daily work on here. So this characterizes the way I could sit here and look at a completely blank piece of paper. That's the way I start many projects. So with my system, that's a good start. I'll sit here and say, I'd like to load that in. So, very sorry about that. So I'm putting in an entity called a statement, and that's full of other entities called words. And if I make some mistakes, I can back up a little bit. So I have a, a statement with some entities' words, and I can do some operations on these. I can copy a word. I can say that word like copy after itself. In fact, that pair of words I like to copy after itself, and I can just do this a few times and get a bit of uh, material there. And there are other entities like text. Say after there, I'd like to copy from that entity point to that point, and it'll copy it. Great. So I could get myself some material on my blank piece of paper, and then I'd say, well, this is going to be more important than it looks. So I'd like to set up a file. So I tell the machine, all right, I'll put to a file. And it says, well, I need a name. I'll give it a name. I'll say a sample file. And I'll say, please output it. It says it did. And then it comes back automatically with an origin statement or header telling me the name of the file and the date and the time and who established it. And thereafter, I can always do something. I can ask for the status of a file, and it'll tell me that information. Very small file now, owned by me, last written by me, very shortly ago, et cetera, and other interesting data in there. So we've seen how we can start with a blank piece of paper and go to developing a file. This file has one statement with a few words in it. Let's make more statements. I'll say copy that statement, and lo and behold, I have another one. Copy that one another one. I can even copy groups of statements. I can say after that one, copy the group from there to there. And it does. I can look at that and say, hmm, probably goes off the screen. It'd be interesting if I could ask the computer to collapse that, perhaps to show me just the first line of each of those statements. All right, please do that. So it did. This is one aspect of what we'll use over and over again through this presentation, what we call view control, where no matter where in the file we're looking, we can ask it to use any one of a large number of parameters for constructing a view at that point in the file that best suits our need at the time. 